Like many of today's products, the retro look is in, and that also goes for RVs. This week we check out new retro style RVs. Is it just a fad, or is it a trend that's here to stay? We'll show you, and you decide. And I've seen some unique things done with avocados, but this week Ivan shows us a simple dessert recipe that's definitely a healthy winner. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Whether you're talking about cars, appliances, clothes, and yes, RVs, the retro look is back with a vengeance. For instance, remember the old Winnebago motorhome from the late 60s? Well, check out the new Winnebago Brave and see what we mean. Well, retro style trailers are all the rage these days, whether they're old rebuilt models or new ones. But Winnebago Industries has done a really interesting thing and they brought out a retro style motorhome. The new Brave is brand new, but it's styled after the coaches that they built back in the 1960s. One of the features they have that's a definite, definite spotting feature is the eyebrow above the windshield. That's something that you'd see on all the old 1960s style coaches. And to carry through the retro theme on the outside, they've got the gel coat fiberglass along with uh, other modern features like the slide out. And they also have the retro color, like the crimson and clover red in this case. Altogether, it adds up to a pretty appealing package. And Jeff, Jeff, I know she's gorgeous on the outside, but the inside is spectacular. I really want you to see oh, okay. it. Come in, come in. Well, let's take a look at the inside, yeah. too. Wow. Well, now look Jeff. at this. Can you dig this rig? Dig? Dig. Well, I haven't dug anything since 1974, but uh, this is a 19, late 60s based vehicle, so that's appropriate. But this is a 2015 yeah. Winnebago Brave, and it has got the feel of the retro 1960s. It looks, it, it looks nice. It's fantastic, but it's got so many amenities. All these modern day appliances, the feel yeah, of the it, product inside, Well, and, and it, it has the things that, that, that carry that retro feel, like the very simple upholstery, uh, great fabric, but you know, durable mm -hmm. and practical. Now, Nice. I understand this is a Cousteau design based on Jacques Cousteau. Really? Believe it or not, in oh, this okay. particular color of the rig. Well, the 60s, that's appropriate too. And uh, real nice tall ceiling for tall people. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Really beautiful. It, it, it's contemporary decor. I mean, it, it's old style decor, but done in a contemporary way, so it looks good. Look at these. So they've got all sorts of neat, modern, mm -hmm. but retro. Looks like this door that opens. Instead of going up like this, they Very used nice. these back then, and it clicks shut. Yeah, back it's in nice those days, safe. they'd have a just a panel that had a little mm -hmm. hole in it that you'd slide back mm -hmm. and forth and catch mm -hmm. your finger on the adjacent door. And this is solid mm -hmm. wood. And obviously, a rig like this is going to have families in it. So a couple of the nice features they have that are uh, bring it up to date, a huge full wall slide on the driver's side. Over here on the passenger side, the slide out that has a little bit of a dinette in it, lots of space there, and there's room in the middle for a couple of extra lawn chairs if you have to have a party in here. Well, I understand it sleeps at least five. Well, so that's cool. I yeah, mean, you I guess, could really have your yeah, family for the, the sofa weekend. Will flip fold out. And, uh, Sleep over there as well. And, and, uh, and uh, there's also the, the, the kind of cool feature how they have the television hidden away here. Perfect for movie night. Pop yes, up some Jiffy yes. Pop. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And up front there, the uh, obviously the uh, getting there is part of the fun in, in a motorhome. And uh, they have the cab design. It's very clean and simple. So uh, let's wander up there and take a look. I'm driving. Okay. Okay. Well, this is gorgeous. Look at these seats. Very nice arrangement up here. Lovely, lovely. Now, one of the things that I love, Jeff, about this is this really neat GPS. So what happens is the yeah. co-pilot can do whatever they need to do yeah. to get the mapping using Without the, distracting the driver. Absolutely. And then, do, yeah. do, 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 slide it over here. Oh, okay. And then I'm able to take a look at it. I can see, and I can go, wait a minute. I think I need a cup of coffee. Can you yeah, help no, me? This is a, right on back. This is a, yeah, the cup of coffee. Half of it. <laughs> and this is... Uh, uh, a, a gas engine coach. It's got a front engine gas, so um, it's a very simple dash, uh, very clean arrangement. We got the gauges, everything is very visible. Uh, the, this extruded aluminum gives it a really nice, it's, it's, a, it's modern, but it has a bit of the retro feel, which is the whole idea. Cool. And up here, of course, they have this uh, electric operated 
a full-size bed that lowers down so you have another sleeping space available, which makes great use of the space. And inside any kind of an RV, using the space effectively is, you know, is, is key. Absolutely. So they've got climate control, a good-looking radio. Um, it's just, generally speaking, looks like a cab where you'd be pretty comfortable traveling long distances. And I think you can put a table in the middle. Yeah, here, so yeah you can this use is for this cards and eating, as the case may be. Cards and eating. Or you have some company over, turn around, relax, and enjoy the, uh, the evening with yeah, your family and friends, watching yeah. that fabulous television. And uh, speaking of television, let's go take a look at it. Love it. We'll get back and finish checking out The Brave right after a word from our sponsors. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. Never run out of propane again. With Level Check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level Check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. I love this amenity. Uh, by day, it looks like a mild mannered, beautiful table. Standard, even a big guy can fit, the compact lady can fit. Absolutely. Now, we talked about TV, and okay. you guys are probably saying, where is the TV, right? Okay, so. I got a trick. All right, yeah, it's electric. Beautiful. How do you nice, like that? Nice, high def, flat screen TV. So, you can bring the TV up to watch, and then when you need to travel, move it back down for storage. Absolutely and there you go. great. Beautiful and now, window. You got the window so you can enjoy the view out there, which I would rather do anyway in a campground rather than watching something on the boob tube. Unless you have family movie night. And the vintage name boob tube, by the way, is also retro, so <laughs> it is fine. <laughs> All right, now I understand there's some cool features back in the bathroom. It's part of the giant full wall slide out here, so let's go take a look. It's terrific. All right, and here it is, the beautiful bathroom. Yeah, walk through hot aisle over here on the curb side. Darn good size shower. It looks like I'd be able to stand up in there without hitting yeah. my head, which is good. And on this side, this is the bathroom. And because the bathroom is part of the slide out, the slide out room adds, I don't know, 15, 18 inches of floor space in there where it's really needed in most bathrooms. So that's and terrific. Very it's comfortable. Very comfortable for a big guy like you. And, and for a little gal like me, plenty of room to yeah, do whatever you need to do to get beautiful. And towel off. And <laughs> And uh, back here, it's a pretty much a standard bedroom, mm -hmm. uh, good size, queen size bed, mm -hmm. uh, typical uh, uh, curbside wall full of storage cabinets, another television, and so on. Good place to spend the night. Absolutely. Wow. Well, well that's something. Jeff, I told you this is a fantastic rig inside. Yeah, it is. It uh, looks like something that the retro RV fans are going to love. Absolutely, but with all the modern amenities and facilities that the modern RVer needs and wants. Yep, good way to go. Groovy, baby. Groovy? Groovy, baby. Okay. <laughs> when is a retro RV classified as a reissued RV? We'll find out right after the break. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this Looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. Be sure and visit the new RollingOnTV.com where you'll find weekly shows along with a selection of videos, stories, information, and the latest RV news. Our lifestyle pages are full of great stories about places to go, things to do, and what's new, written by our viewers and RV writers from around the country. And if you're into great food and drinks, then visit our food and beverage pages where we'll get your taste buds up and ready for an Epicurean adventure. All this and more on the new RollingOnTV.com. 
Mark, you guys have made a huge hit in the industry <laughs> with your reissued Air Flight trailer. Yes, thank you. Um, among, I mean, the, the retro style thing is really popular in the RV industry today. Correct. And uh, your trailer obviously fits right in there like a glove. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. What, what, what brought about the idea and what does the trailer have that makes it look so special? Well, you know, the neat thing about the whole retro movement is everybody's being retrospective of something. And whether it's a diner, whether the, the new Camaro looks like an older Camaro, a lot of these retro trailers look like a 1961 Shasta, mm -hmm. you know, the old can ham style yeah. with the wings. Uh, so being Shasta, it didn't make sense for us not to be, you yeah. know, among the group of people. Not so to I, rebuild your own... Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, if we're the ones that originated it, why not, you know, get on the bandwagon now again with the yeah. original? So I went and bought a 61, and it wasn't in the best of shape. And, of course, you know, you, you fall in love sometimes with a basket case, which is what I did. And, yeah. you know, I thought, oh, it'll be easy. We'll just, you know, we'll turn this around. Uh, and through that process, I gained a lot of respect for the vintage campers that actually go and restore their own. Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a big thing these days. A lot of people with uh, mm -hmm. torn down old trailers yeah. in their garages these days. A absolutely. And, you know, we, and we have some of the best guys online. They build trailers every day. I mean, they're experts at what mm -hmm. they do. They build with a lot of speed. And it's just at every turn, well, what about the water system? And, you know, you'd look at the aluminum lines and the aluminum tank from back in the 60s, yeah. and I'm not comfortable with that. So, you know, okay, take out the whole water system. Okay. You know, what, what, what about the wiring? Well, yeah. it's it's that horsehair style fiber coating on the wire. Well, I don't want to redo it and then, you know, have a fire hazard. Well, yeah. take out all the wiring. Well, that so, aluminum tank leaked. Well, replace the floor in the linoleum. And, you know, now I own, I'm, I'm the proud owner of a bare frame, yeah. you know, with a Shasta VIN number on and it. And then flash forward to today, and yeah. you guys have got this great new product that is mm -hmm. flying off the dealer lots. It is. And, and, and so tell us about that product. Well, so through that process, we, we tore the, that apart, and you know, I kept saying to the engineer, you know, before we pull the cabinet out, draw me a picture of it. Before we pull the sidewall off, mm -hmm. you know, draw that sidewall. So he did, and we ended up with a bare frame, like I said, which I'm the proud owner, but also a print pack. And that print pack is is a true 1961 Air Flight print pack. Mm -hmm. And so we went, as we went to rebuild my own, um, I wanted to build it to current code. I wanted to use modern appliances. Uh, I didn't really want to put a propane gas lamp in the overhead, so I went and found a manufacturer to make us a replica, but an LED light. Yeah. Uh, the scallops in the overhead, which were one of the iconic uh, mm -hmm. deals in a Shasta, we replicated that in the cabinet doors. So in trying just to restore the one camper, we found the suppliers, we found the yeah. parts, we created all the molds. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we decided, okay, let's reissue yeah. Uh, this product. So and instead then, of being a retro, we're just we're reissuing a 61 Shasta. Right. And then today, people go on the lot, and what do they see? I mean, what are they, what are they going to find in their new their yeah. new Shasta? Well, you know, the funny part is we tried to make it not look new. You know, I mean, in fact, I've had well, sure. grandparents come in and, and say, oh, what a beautiful restoration. Mm -hmm. And as they're telling their kids about all their time in a Shasta, mm -hmm. I just don't have the heart to tell them it's not yeah. you know, a restoration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, at first glance, you, you see a 1961 Shasta. Yeah. Upon closer inspection, it has the white walls, but they're nice radial tires. Mm -hmm. You know, it has electric brakes on both wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, the floor is a seamless one-piece floor, which back in the day was, you know, of course, pieces of plywood yeah. uh, with seams in them. Uh, again, we took out the LP lamp, replaced it with LED. Mm -hmm. All the inside lighting is LED. Yeah. Uh, the seating, however, it's a tuck and roll, red and white leather, uh, leather and it's vinyl, but you know it's red and white leather on the front, and it used to be a twin bed. And you know I spoke to several families, and they said it's just not practical as a twin. So without changing the exterior dimension, we were able to increase that to a full-size bed across the front, mm -hmm. and that's been a huge improvement, not only for sleeping, uh, but for being able to gather with all the windows around and play games mm -hmm. and, and do what our being's yeah. meant to be. Uh, oven is new, electrical system is new, and probably the biggest addition is what used to be a removable pot uh, porta potty is now a wet bath in the back. Yeah. So you know you, you shut the door. Uh, it becomes a full shower stall, toilet in there, and then the kitchen sink, of course, brushing teeth, getting ready in the morning. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a truly self-contained, uh, just like any other RV, but has that classic look. Yeah, so you have a trailer that uh, when you pull into a campground uh, is going to not look like everybody else's trailer, but right. you have all the amenities and the comforts and the current standards and practices for safety and plumbing and electrical and so on. Yeah, so that's correct. terrific. Yeah, and, and an air conditioner, a uh, hidden stereo with Bluetooth capability, mm -hmm. and that's hidden inside the overhead. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is actually the transport drivers, you know, they love the business and being able to tow them, but they actually tell us it takes a few hours longer to get to the destination. When they stop for gas, they're swarmed by people just taking pictures and asking yeah. about the product. So it's every stop is a half an hour or 40 minutes longer than what they planned on. Yeah, I remember doing yeah. a uh, road test on the, uh, the retro that you guys mm -hmm. did back in 
2005. Yeah, Coachman had done yeah, the, the fiberglass version. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, that one uh, we towed, and it was uh, same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of lot of discussion. So we had a yeah. stack of brochures, and we'd get into the discussions, and in the brochure, oh, yeah. here you are. You know, and, so, and the neat part is, you know, when you look at the one from 09, mm -hmm. that was really along the retro lines. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you looked at it, and, and it reminded you of the original mm -hmm. 61. We painstakingly recreated mm -hmm. the reissue. So I love the ones from 2009. They're all electric. They're fiberglass. They're a modern retro version. The ones we're doing now, we even roll the metal over the edge, and it really is a lost art. You know, mm -hmm. nowadays we look, what's the special tool? What's the process? Mm -hmm. And the plant manager from the 60s, we were in touch with him, and he said, the process? Two guys with huge right arms and hammers. You yeah. know? I mean, yeah. they, they sat there all day long hammering the metal over the edge. Well, sometimes things from the old days just work just as well. You know, it, they sure do, and, and, you know, of course it takes practice and you're learning along the way, but I look at today's campers and they have an outside molding and drip cap and all that, and there's still a potential for you know a leak or water penetration. Yeah. Back in the 60s, although it was more labor intensive, rolling the metal over as they did and mm -hmm. multiple layers of caulking, multiple layers of sealant, and of course sealants have come a long way since back then. Oh, yeah. It actually, to me, appears to be just as good or even a better method of building. So yeah. to yeah. do that, I'm not, you know, I don't worry about it, but I think it really gives some authenticity to the product to do that. Well, it's a pretty exciting product. We look yeah. forward to seeing them on the road. You know, when we first came up with the idea to introduce them, I went to the sales manager and I said, you know, we have a crazy idea. You know, the engineer Mark Dunathan and I, let's build a whole bunch of these. Mm. And he said, yeah, you know, okay, you know, really didn't know. Mm. And I said, you know, 1,941, first year Shasta's in business. Yeah. We thought that was pretty ambitious. Mm. The great part is we went to open house and in about 72 hours sold all 1941, yeah. which is a year's production for many companies. Yeah. And I'm proud to say at this point, of the 1941, like 1,500 are retail sold, oh. retail names, uh, really unprecedented. So the excitement that we see at the company, on Facebook, around with dealers, mm. dealers are streaming into the show just you know thrilled to be a part of it yeah. and welcome people to the industry it's it's exciting across uh, you know all, all areas yeah very cool well, thank yeah you thanks for your very time, much sir. you too coming up next the band shows us a delicious healthy dessert made from avocados at Jayco we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer we're all about family and we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. At Norco, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid and Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Do you have a sweet tooth that just won't quit, but a waistline that needs to whittle? Today I'm going to show you how to make a rich, creamy, satisfying dessert that will wow you while still being healthy. Chocolate pudding. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a trick to this, as you might expect. The base of our pudding is, wait for it, avocados. Ripe and ready, these nutritional powerhouses contain numerous vitamins and minerals, including potassium, folate, vitamins B, C and E. They're also known to lower bad cholesterol and more. We'll sweeten it with a little bit of honey and add a few more healthy ingredients. In just a jiffy, you'll be enjoying a no-cook decadent dessert that will leave a smile on your face and only you and I need to know it's not only good, it's good for you. It's super simple, so let's get started. What you're gonna need is a blender. Now you can use a Vitamix, you can use a food processor, a stick blender, a hand beater, or with a little bit of elbow grease, you can use a fork to smash the avocado and a whip to mix everything up. Okay, so to our blending container, I'm gonna add two avocados. You wanna make sure that your avocados are not overripe. So when you pick them out at the store, just give them a little squeeze, just a little gentle pressure, and they should give just a little bit. That's how you'll know they're ripe and ready to go. Just like that. I'm gonna add a half a cup of cocoa powder. 
right to the mix like so. I've got a quarter cup of skim milk. Perfect, like that. We're gonna add about one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Mm, delicious. By the way, if you'd prefer to use something like a mint extract, a rum extract, or even bourbon, that works just fine too. But keep it about one teaspoon. And I'm going to add a little bit of honey. We're going to add six tablespoons, which is a scant or an almost third cup. And a lot of my viewers will know this trick. In order to get the honey to slip out of the measuring cup easily, we're going to use just a little bit of nonstick spray right on the cup, and then we're going to put the honey in it. Okay, and are you ready for this? You're going to love it. Right in like that. As you can see, it pretty much slips out. Simple and easy, so you get every drop. The last thing we're going to add is one teaspoon of espresso powder. This is just going to give it a little depth of flavor. And if you don't have espresso powder, you can use just a little bit of instant coffee. That works just as well. Once blended, you're going to put this into four individual serving size bowls or dishes because you're gonna get four servings out of this. Just like so, nice and beautiful. We're gonna garnish this with some fresh mint. Now you can use toasted coconut, you can use an orange zest, whatever you like. I love the fresh mint. I'm also gonna eat these mint leaves as I eat my chocolate pudding. So right in like that. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of Florida de sel. This is just some flaky sea salt. I happen to pick this up in Paris. It gives it a nice crunch and goes oh so well with the sweet chocolate flavor. On top like this, perfect. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator. It's gonna chill for about 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat it. All right, it has been 30 minutes. Our chocolate pudding has chilled and it's ready to eat. As you can see, by the way, it is just beautiful. Looks just like chocolate pudding. Believe it or not, it tastes just like it. So I'm gonna have a bite. Let's see what we think. Get a little bit of that Florida de sel in it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, the salt gives it just a little bit of crunch. It's creamy, mmm, chocolatey, and delicious. Try this at home. It's simple to make in your RV kitchen. Let me know how it goes. I'm Yvan. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Well, that's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. For more information on anything you saw on the show, plus additional videos and stories, visit us online at rollingontv.com. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. For great recipes and RVing tips, be sure to visit Ivan Schmatter at thervcookingshow.com. And now we'll leave you with a few photos of another fun production. <laughs>